is going to be fun. So it's going to be Young Link going up against Olimar. All right, so we're starting things off for Spectrum and Aeon with the traditional zoning war. I feel like as far as what we should expect out of these characters, no one's going to want to approach. Would you want to approach on Olimar? I'm good, man. Would you want to approach on Young Link? Oh, no, absolutely not. Would you want to approach as either of these characters? No. Like, the fact that Buddy, Biddy is the first one to, like, really press the envelope, that's quite, quite surprising. Yeah, like, there's definitely some, some pressure-heavy, <clears throat> you know, setups that uh, Young can play with. But I feel like against Olimar, it's it's definitely uh, uh, running the gambit. Because Olimar up close can just kind of destroy uh, destroy you. But Biddy getting the ever-loving uh, blessing of Olimar's shield. Uh, Coming through for him right there. Man, Omar's head isn't that big. It's not nice. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, so Biddy's doing a good job at least keeping it close. That's all you can really ask for against like these, you know, these juggernaut players that gotta have reputations to them. And I believe they've played in the past in like they a, actually in, have. in other Smash games. So they've also played an ultimate in bracket. Um, for what it's worth, the the record is currently 2-0 in DeBuzz's favor. There you go. Ooh, that just barely wanted that F smash, and there we go. Gets the forward air kill, so good stuff there from Viddy. Yeah, Boomerang, when you use the smash input for it, it leads to so much for Young Link at close range. Oh yeah, without a doubt. So like, it's, it's really weird. You wouldn't think of projectiles as your hit confirm when you're <laughs> not talking about the likes of Ivysaur, but really, Young Link plays very much in the same way. Okay, guess what's the up B? That's going to be some good damage right there. Oh, he tried to do this. All See right, ya. buddy. <laughs> no, All it's, right. no, it's Biddy. I hate this. Got him. <laughs> Control your mans. He's bullying our fifth seed. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, so the buzz able to even things up nicely. Um, having a bit of ground to make up here, but Alamar, like we said, is kind of an offensive cannon. <laughs> so if he's able to get up and close on on uh, Young Link, it's going to be uh, big damage. And the White Pikmin's a good way to get that starter, but Biddy doing a great job just immediately getting rid of it. Yeah, Biddy seems to have a very good idea as to what tools he can use to remove the Pikmin, depending on where they're placed which just good presence of mind for the matchup at hand because most people aren't that well versed in the intricacies of fighting Olimar. Yeah, I agree. Like, the, the, you, and, oh, he might be dead here. No, just kidding. Okay. Big hands. Back. Big magnets. I'm saying. Yeah, but I agree with what you said right there. Like, the thing about against fighting Olimar is that you have, like, very uh, small windows to kind of figure out what the hell's going on because the damage can be can rack up so quickly. Just like just like that. Like, the buzzer's losing. He's only taken about another 20% since uh, taking the first stop from Biddy. Ooh. There we go. Q confirm. All right. You know, another thing to keep into consideration is that as far as the zoning war is concerned between both of these players, their targets are small. Like, imagine you're having to have the accuracy to consistently hit Olimar. Yeah, you turn you turn off your targeting computer. Something wrong? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Nice stuff right there with the nair to the up smash from Biddy. Now having the landing trap option on Olimar. And there we go. The down smash will cover the other end. So... Because he wants stock, baby. All right. That's all you need. So let's see what the response is here from the buzz. Right now, uh, Biddy doing a really good job putting up this wall uh, with the fire arrows. Hey, no Setting okay. up a good amount of damage right off the bat. This could set a really strong precedent for Team Spectrum. Okay, there we go. Getting the buzz stopped in the sit back. Throw some Pikmin. Nandibus starting to reach the percentages where he really has to watch out for the up special as well as the, the forward air. Yeah, and then Buzz only getting a uh, minor punish off of that grab right there. Ooh, okay. Once again, good job from Biddy. Uh, immediately eliminating that white Pikmin. That's where the damage uh, gap can really, really close. But a huge, uh, really heavy offensive lineup right now for the Buzz. Woo okay, how did that not hit? Pikmin just are asleep at the wheel, unfortunately. <laughs> Not given the read to the buzz, he's gonna work a little bit harder to net this kill. Meanwhile, Biddy inching his way inwards. Yep. There we go. Ooh, Ooh he's, he's in the really press right now. Ooh, yeah. If he got, if he teched in place, he was Dunsky Bunskies right there. See, Biddy can't get too antsy if he starts to give up his. Oh own no control. way! <laughs> there we go. Well, so there we go. The buzz. Uh, or Biddy win the game. Or yeah, go Biddy. That's all I got. Let's go, Vinny. Fifth seeds, am I right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have third seeds popping up next. There we go. Nice catch right there. 
Let's just see all of ours. <laughs> the, the house classic. I love it so much. It's the most robotic fist bump I've seen from either of them. Dude, he was like already in like fist bump. He knew it killed. <laughs> he knew it killed. Well, you, you saw the blue flare. The blue flare pointed at him. <laughs> I want to watch. Here we go. Like, you see? <laughs> he knew. That's the, the go directly to boardwalk. <laughs> you are just going around the board, man. You really wore a Dragon Ball Z shirt today after everything that happened? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> oh no, I just realized what you said. <laughs> oh no. I'm so <laughs> player 4 is in the building. <laughs> we're, we're doomed. Can somebody get Player 4 out of the building? <laughs> Can somebody please call the police? <laughs> <laughs> they did you in once, they'll do it again. I think, <laughs> I think Reggie wearing a banana suit outside of the of the police department probably was one of the funniest things I saw all weekend. Oh, that picture got out? The one with you in the banana outfit in front of the police headquarters? Nice. You know that's only five minutes down the road from the DC. Yeah, center. that was crazy. <laughs> it's like they knew. Anyway, so moving on. We're going to have the battle of the three seeds, I believe, in Raptor and Lemon Tea. So... So, Wolf versus Yoshi. This would be fun. I believe Raptor has the distinct honor of being the player on Team Aeon that wanted to be here the least. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's funny. He <laughs> was really looking for someone else to fill his spot. <laughs> and then I was like, but Carlos, dollars. And he decided, dollars. Dollars. I can legitimately just picture Raptor being like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm two blocks away from Taco Bell. <laughs> that's true. That is. That's hey. Listen, that's good. I like, want to um, go to Taco Bell. That's a good incentive. You'd be in right there to Taco Bell and Raptor, a Taco Bell enthusiast. And I find it funny, even when when one Yoshi from from Yoshi's Island doesn't make the trip, another one does. So. Of course. So yeah, that's gonna be a thing. I don't know how far down the line our next Yoshi would have. I guess Pong would have been the next available player who. Has been grinding Yoshi on the low. Of course he has, because he's from Long Island. Yoshi Palutena is low key a devastating duo. Like, there's like two different flavors of mashing available to you. <laughs> Dude, but never in a million years. It's like the half and half and the pink lemonade of mashing. <laughs> You're satisfying every taste bud. <laughs> Sometimes, have you ever had Arnold Palmer where they make do they mix the sweet tea and the pink lemonade? That's dangerous. Really? I've this is news to you? This is news. Frank. Oh, we got to... I'm, I'm about to rock the world. Oh, but. boy. This IHOP after four is going to hit different tonight. <laughs> like, anyway, here we go, folks. The so, battle between Wolf versus Yoshi. So, a very traditional matchup as far as Long Island is concerned. So, this is very familiar territory for Raptor. However, I don't know how confident Lemon Tea is in fighting Yoshi. As I know, New Jersey, not the biggest of fans of the dinosaur. Uh, we have approximately one. And I don't know if and he's Let's currently in school. Yeah. <laughs> RJ doesn't even count anymore. No, yeah, I forgot about RJ. Okay. The switch to Falco was that fast. That's true. Actually, I actually zone. completely forgot about RJ. But I also don't know. I don't think him and RJ have like played in any frequency or at all. So we'll see what happens here. Because, again, Yoshi, another one of those characters where the game can slip away from you very quickly if you're not careful. I know Team Aeon is getting a ball out of this because we have a plentiful of wolves, but more importantly than not, uh, the number one seed for Team Aeon, Stocktaker, has predominantly been playing Wolf in Ultimate. And this is a matchup that's very often seen. Yoshi versus Wolf is hilarious because you'd think that Yoshi is like a good weight to get comboed, but he's able to get out of a lot of setups from Wolf. Yeah, I can totally see that, uh, whether it be by you know double jump arming or just kind of the awkward weight that Yoshi has in its display. Also, on the other side of things, you know, Wolf is still a fast faller. He still gets comboed to bits. And Yoshi, you know, with, if, if you don't know your your you know your proper DI on things, you're going to need a lot of damage. Yeah, if you're not aware of what Yoshi's bringing to the table, his hit confirm to single hit follow up is devastating. Wow. But anti airing with the up smash working out well as Lemon T breaks first blood. Yeah, dimensional cape with legs uh, <laughs> able to net that first kill for Lemon T. So. Really makes you wonder where Wolf learned to do that. <laughs> Did it just a break dancing circuits in the Lilac system? Of course. So, I mean, he is Irish. He probably knows how to like step dance or something. So, yo, the O'Donnell shuffle. 
I would love to know why everyone in, in space is Irish, by the way. That'd be uh, someone at home can answer that for me. That'd be great. Regardless, though, uh, the Raptor able to even things up nicely, but has himself at a, a bit of a deficit here. Great empty hop right there from Lemon T. Ooh, but the shield poke. All right, it's a little bit of pressure here and there, but Lemon T's doing a great job of just mitigating all of the landing space that Yoshi has at his disposal. On Stadium, Yoshi is able to traverse the, that whole latter half of the stage from the ledge. So long as Wolf is able to cover the plat and center stage effectively, he has all of that on lock, and that's free damage for Wolf to rack up. Oh yeah, without a doubt. So let's see what the adjustment uh, is here from Raptor, because like obviously, you know, the big thing. Oh, I think he's dead. Yeah, Bye. stole a jump. That was also off of second lift of uh, egg throw. There was not much hope for Raptor coming back, and now MT with a very comfortable lead. Only sitting on 53% and forcing the approach out of Raptor. Yeah, looking awfully comfortable in this matchup. Uh, again, I, oh, that shield poked? Or did he drop shield? He had to drop shield. Yeah, Yoshi Yoshi's get, literally the only character that can't get shield That's poked. right, you can get shield poked. You can't crack an egg without it all leaking out everywhere. Ooh. It's all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Well you, you know that you know that that phrase yeah. is ruined for me. Yeah, <laughs> it's such a useful turn of phrase. Oh! Uh, how's about that for the all? A very loose setup, following up into uh, Raptor getting himself a kill and some pressure. Oh all of a sudden, leading to a ransacking of damage on Lemon T. <laughs> That's what I mean, man. Like these leads against like if you get hit by Eggley or something like that, and, you, and Yoshi has the time to set up on you, like it's. Truly a, a nightmare scenario because you can just eat so much damage. <laughs> and they're beating out up smash. A strange hell. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> I just heard what Biddy said. I'm very upset. That was a terrible. Biddy's not allowed to talk right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Both players just kind of dancing around right now. Raptor having to be very careful. Oh, that was super dangerous from Lemon Tea. Bro, what the heck? I think he keeps forgetting there's a second hit. The legs come up. Raptor throws an egg to cover his landing. Getting Nick bad a second egg actually bought him some time right there. Ooh. Much more passive play coming out now. And good on Lemon T to adapt quickly to it. Popping just for retreating fares and lasers. And Blaster in this match was so good because even though it's a slow, the fact that it is a slower projectile just works out so much better. And now at that weight, no matter how good the DI is, back throws killing, and Spectrum now sitting up 2-0. There we go. So, you know, Raptor kind of made his bed right there. He was down a lot. He was treading water the good majority of the second part of that match. As uh, <laughs> Dark Matter popping off. Good stuff there from Lemon Teeth, like I said. You know, oh, no. there was some, probably some minor match, some unfamiliarity, like we said. Yoshi is kind of a, a dead commodity in the in this part of, of New Jersey. So So now it's at least from the area that they hail from so this is this is the comeback story. This is either the comeback true. story or Spectrum <laughs> surmounts uh, a win on the reigning champions. That's true. Now for those unaware of season one, this is actually a run back. Yes. Stock Taker and Dark Matter having uh, faced off as first seeds representing their teams last season. And, and uh, Stock Taker kind of gave them the hands. So. Yes, but that was only in the bracket section. So yes. the Swiss format of the bracket does lend itself into a bracket. And during the pool play, Dark Matter actually took a win on Stock Taker. That's true. So let's see if history can repeat itself in explosive fashion for Spectrum Smash as both players get their tags ready. So now what we should be expecting is, of course, Wolf Ness, Ness from Dark Matter. Although I've heard he's playing other characters these days as well. Yeah, well, he's, been like playing, he's, he's been playing Pikachu. That's a character he's been uh, favoring. I know he did play uh, Game & Watch a lot in Smash 4. Uh, I don't know if that's carried over into this game, but Pikachu's been kind of the character he's been rocking with lately. Uh, also, a uh, prominent Yu-Gi-Oh player as well. So Yes, just recently top 16. Nats with a zombie deck, which for those who aren't aware of Yu-Gi-Oh, zombies are very dead, thematically and <laughs> meta-speaking. They haven't been relevant since I think I was still in high school. <laughs> How old are you again? 24 now. Wow, that's a long time. Yes. I mean, I was in high school that long ago, too, so, you know. We're old. Yeah, we are old. <laughs> so that's why we should play card games. Yes. <laughs> it's less flexible. We just have to spend more money. That's the lesson of the day. Play card games. Yeah, I, you know what? I definitely was... 
Uh, there's been a Pokemon TCG explosion on Twitter recently. Especially in our area. Yeah, I definitely almost bought a uh, an expert box uh, from Target the other day for like 40 bucks. I believe Max Ketchum and Tweak. Yeah. They're definitely patient zero of this. Let's just buy $60 worth of cards <laughs> on site. Yeah, I know nothing about like deck building competitive Pokemon, so I'm definitely looking into how to, how to do that. Thankfully, the TCG stuff online is free, so... Well, it looks like both players are ready and they're selecting town and city for their stage. Now it's a matter of the characters because while almost definitely Dark Matter will be picking into his nest as it is one of his signature characters in this game, looks like Stock Taker is going to hover right on over to Wolf. There you go. There we are. So it is worth noting that Stock Taker is very comfortable in this matchup and against Ness as a whole. Sure, right. I'm sure him and uh, PK Chris have played there. many, many, many times. To, to say that he is a bracket demon of Chris is a bit of an understatement. However, <laughs> this is not Chris. And no, this is, this, this is Dark Matter. This is a different breed of mess. Yeah. Dark Matter, like, he's, he, like, sold off, like, 20 years of his life expectancy to just play very, very solid with Ness. Like, this is a very scary character when you have sound fundamentals. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, Dark Matter, fundamentally, very, very solid. You know, he's a, he's a lab monster. He knows how to... He knows his confirms. That's huge against Ness, especially how you can convert with these magnet combos. Because Ness, in his, his disadvantage state, is uh, mediocre. I'd say, like, you know, uh, his well, landing options aren't the greatest. Even though Ness can land quickly, they're fairly committal once he wants to press a button. Yeah. And then if he has to try and come up from the, the ledge, once again, fairly mediocre. And then even though he has good buttons, they're a large commitment once he presses them. On the edge, though. Well, busted. In control of it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. A different story. As you saw right there, Dark Matter wasting no time just erasing that stock from Stock Taker. So now uh, Stock Taker is the one in response right now. How is he going to do so? The up smash? That's just right. frames that. away from killing right there. Just a little bit more damage, and I'm sure it'll uh, fend off the Psychokinetic Child. <laughs> you can say that again. It's, it's too many syllables. I don't want it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the shaggy curtains, yep. It's a good stuff. Yeah, so uh, Stock Taker, good job right there. Because th that's another one of those characters where the lead can just kind of slip away from you for not paying attention. Yeah, Ness is very much a uh, fight or flight kind of character. Like, you either take a stock and it evaporates in your control, or you just die. He's small, he's light, as we already mentioned. He doesn't have the greatest of options for getting back into the battle on his ball. Very, very nice stuff right there from uh, Stock Taker. The forward air into the bear. So now after losing that first dock, he's rebounded nicely. So it looks like he's kind of woken up. Better Bear's kind of OD because you need a hit confirm to actually make that something. Whoa! Oh, great okay. option coverage from Dark Matter. Tying up the stocks. Yeah, so Team Spectrum trying to go up big here, uh, whereas, you know, Team Aeon, you know, if they don't lose this, they can't win the point advantage, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset I can hear that. I think the audience might have. Oh, boy. Okay, Dark Matter continuing to press his advantage state right now. He's doing Ooh. a good job of it, although... Whiffing the coverage as Stock Taker goes in for the landing, but he's not able to manage it for too long. Mispositioned with the down smash, though. Yeah, that could, you know, maybe that could come back to help him. Force the side V up. He's, oh, but with the air dodge. You hate to see it happen. Riffing. So, Team Aeon uh, cannot win via the point advantages, but still, there are points to play for here, so. Indeed, indeed. It seems like second seeds are going up now as Kofi goes to, uh, to follow up. And. Are they not opting to play the rest of it? Okay. Hello? Well, damn. 